this is about the film and television actor. For similarly named performers, see William Campbell. William Campbell was an American actor who appeared in supporting roles in major film productions and also starred in several low-budget B-movies, including two cult horror films. Career Campbell's film career began in 1950, with a small part in the John Garfield film, The Breaking Point. After several years of similar supporting performances in a number of films, including as a co-pilot in William Wellman's The High and the Mighty, he won his first starring role in Cell 2455 Death Row, a low-budget prison film for Columbia Pictures. He played a Death Row inmate, based loosely on the true story of Carol Chessman, who staunchly proclaimed his innocence and obtained numerous reprieves over many years until finally being executed. Campbell's surprisingly powerful performance received generally good notices from critics, but it did very little for his career. His next several roles were again providing support to lead actors, including Love Me Tender and the 1958 film version of Norman Mailer's The Naked and the Dead. In 1958, Campbell co-starred with Paul Birch in Cannonball, a short-lived television series about truck drivers. After that, he toiled for more years in small parts in increasingly lower-grade movies. Campbell made two guest appearances on Perry Mason in 1959 and 1960. In his first appearance he played the title character and murder victim Alan Sheridan in The Case of the Artful Dodger, then he played murderer and title character Jim Ferris in The Case of the Ill-Fated Faker. In 1963, Campbell began a brief association with Roger Corman, starring in the director's The Young Razors that year. The auto-racing-themed movie, written for the screen by Campbell's brother Robert Wright Campbell, was shot in Ireland. After production was completed, a film's sound man, Francis Ford Coppola, talked Corman into allowing Coppola to remain in Ireland with a small crew and direct a low-budget horror film, to be produced by Corman. Coppola promised it would be the cheapest film Corman was ever involved in shot for approximately $40,000, the resultant film, Dementia 13 was an atmospheric and violent horror thriller clearly made in imitation of Psycho. Campbell starred as a moody loner who at one point becomes the chief suspect in a series of gruesome axe killings. Patrick McGee and Lana Anders led the supporting cast. Many years later, Campbell would provide an informative and amusing audio commentary for the film's DVD release. Campbell also starred in another, even cheaper and more bizarre, Corman-produced horror yarn. Filmed in 1963 in Yugoslavia under the title Operation Jatishi John, again with McGee in the cast, the movie was never released in its original form, although it was re-edited, redubbed and briefly shown on television as Portrait in Terror. Years later, additional footage was shot in California, first by Jack Hill, then by Stephanie Rothman, transforming what was once a spy thriller into the story of a vampire stalking the streets of Venice, California retitled Blood Bath, although it also became known as Track of the Vampire, a film received a limited theatrical release in 1966. Campbell's character was an artist who killed women and hid their bodies in his sculptures. He is also a vampire who can freely walk during the daylight in search of victims. However, the fanged vampire was confusingly played by another actor who did not resemble Campbell. Like Dementia 13 the film has managed to develop a cult following despite its deficiencies. In the early 1990s, Video Watchdog magazine devoted lengthy articles and three separate issues painstakingly detailing the convoluted production history of this strange but fascinating movie. Campbell has also obtained cult status for his guest starring roles on Star Trek, appearing first as the mischievous Superbean Trelin, in an episode of the original series called The Squire of Guthos. Campbell also appeared twice as the Klingon Captain Koloth. Campbell first played Koloth on the original Star Trek series in the classic episode The Trouble with Tribbles. He reprised the role on the series Star Trek, Deep Space Nine episode entitled Blood Oath, some thirty years later. Campbell appeared at several Trek conventions in the 1980s and 1990s and many Star Trek fans consider Campbell's portrayal of the Trelin character as the first introduction of the Q culture to the series. His last appearance was at the convention organized by Creation Entertainment at the Las Vegas Hilton in August 2006. Personal Life and Death, 
Campbell was married three times. His first marriage was to Judith Kshner in 1952. They divorced in 1958. Kshner, at some point, became involved with U.S. President John F. Kennedy. His second wife was Barbara Bricker. They were married from 1960 to 1961. He married his third wife, Teresa, in 1962. They were married until his death. He died quietly on April 28, 2011, at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, California. Partial Filmography Television, 1958 Cannonball, Jerry Austin, 1966 The Wild Wild West, Episode The Night of the Free Booters, 1967 Star Trek, The Squire of Guthos, The Trouble with Tribbles, 1994 Star Trek, Deep Space Nine Blood Oath, References External links William Campbell at Memory Alpha, William Campbell at the Internet Movie Database, William Campbell at the Internet Broadway Database.